The Los Angeles Coliseum, a place traveler calls home and the crowd loves to fight on when supporting the USC Trojans. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see, the number three team in the country, the Penn State Nittany Lions taking on another team from the Big Ten, the USC Trojans. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. Trojans will get us started with the opening kickoff. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So Penn State's offense will get the first crack at it here. And here he is. Let me tell you about this wide receiver. He is a route-running, DB-toasting, pass-catching, touchdown-scoring son of a gun. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this defense is going to try and corral this guy because you play man-to-man, -man, you risk him running right by you and catching the deep ball, but you play zone and you give him the opportunity to potentially make yards after the catch. You're going to have to be really careful trying to cover that dude. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. They'll go back to the air on second down. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Dropping back, it's Albert. They'll run the screen. Can't get him to the ground. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. The Nittany Lions will try to pin them back with the punt. Promising start to that drive sort of fizzled out, and they'll have to punt it away. And the punt hits at the eight and goes into the end zone for the touchback. The Trojans' offense will go to work for the first time today. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while well, they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And he makes the grab and gets the foot down. What a job for a huge gain there. And the Trojans moving quickly to the line. Off the play fake on first down. Oh, he drops the football. He had it right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. Looking for room. It's Peterson. He rumbles all the way down to the two-yard line. He gave him a little bit of everything on that one. The Trojans are threatening on first and goal. Trying to pound their way in. And the defense stuffs the run, and the ball will remain at the two. And the D deny them on second and goal. Power ahead. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. They've moved it right to the precipice of a score, and they need one more yard. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They'll play it safe and send out the field goal unit. A short kick, but that angle from the right can be a little tricky. Right down the boulevard. It's good. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. Well, this team knew coming into tonight's game, they had to get momentum early, playing at home. They want to get the crowd into it. So you get a beautiful drive here to start this thing. You would have liked to cap it off with a touchdown, but listen, you set yourself up for a field goal and knock it through the uprights. You've got the lead. Everything right now looking good. 
from inside his own 10. He'll try to help out their field position. And the returner will be brought down. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Couldn't ask for much more there. A first down, and they're down to the 42. Right back to the well. Fights off the defender. And a good, solid pickup there before the defense knocks him down. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. And the Nittany Lions come to the line with a new set of downs. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. Got his man on the right. That throw and catch gets them down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. Turning to the running game on first and goal. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. As we head to the quarter break, it is USC holding the lead. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we place one period. Ready to get back to it and open the second period. Trying to bully their way in. He's got it down to the one yard line, right on the doorstep of Pater. So loud it's rattling your fillings on third and goal. Pushes ahead. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. And I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. It's money time. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground and put it in the end zone. Yeah, They'll try to add another to their lead. Yeah, and the extra point is good, and it's a four-point lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Hey guys, let's take a look at what's happening in a great top 25 matchup. Tennessee is currently ahead in this one, but unlike the days of Neyland and Fulmer and Majors, this has not been a blowout today in Knoxville. They're up by seven over Florida. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now, and any updates, we'll see them here. Guys? Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. After that last completion, it's second down. He's looking to throw. They're working that left side. Really nice job there by both guys. The throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Looking to move it through the air. Feeling some heat. Catch in the middle. It's Robinson. They make the stop trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. They're going to test that run defense to the right here. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Looking down the middle. Got his man downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. Puts him in the spin side. He breaks a tackle. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. 
moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. No good. And it is still a four-point deficit. And then lately, it's like we haven't been using it as much. It's been kind of a talking point immediately. It's a Jets run three stack. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -to -back touchdowns. It's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this. Their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over. So really nice stop there from this senior leader. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. Dropping back, it's Aller. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Some guys just have the pure talent to make the catch no matter how many defenders are around. Yeah, Reese, he's a, a bit of a rule breaker because even when he's covered, he's open. The quarterback knows that. He's going to find a way to come back to the football and help his QB out. After the run, second and medium. Using his legs, at Singleton. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's the big deal about going on the road? Well, if you're not careful, you might find out in a spot like this one, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a hostile environment, and you know you're going to be getting the opponent's A game for this one. They've circled this one all offseason, so they better be ready to bring it today, then. And the hardest thing to do in college football is to go on the road. Everything about it changes, and you want to shut this crowd up early. You don't want to give them belief, because if it starts to build throughout the game, look out. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. Going up top on first down. He'll off one deep down the left side. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers and he couldn't hold on. They'll throw again after the incompletion. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. They stop him after a short game, probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. He gets the first one off, and he was busier than he hoped in that loss last week, being called on five times. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Makes the grab. It's Saunders. They make the stop after the catch. It's still some work to do to pick up that first down. Off the play fake. Trying to get to it. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and they can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Fires to the right. And this is going to be incomplete on third down. The Nittany Lions will call on their punt team. Kicks it high and it's just hanging there as if it has helium in it and floating down toward the earth. And the returner will be dragged down. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. Zings it complete to the right. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. And the Trojans send out the punt unit. 
This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Just about 30 seconds to go, and you want to score, but the last thing you need to do is give up a cheapie. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the misfire, now on second down. Back to throw. It's Aller. The quick out. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. A third and long coming up here. He hurls one deep down the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. A high kick. Let's see if he can pin him back deep in their own end. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He'll be guided out of bounds, but not before a nifty return on that one. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Looking to the big tight end. It is incomplete, and now there are four seconds remaining. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. So as it turns out, a two-play drive results in a field goal. I know they're trailing going into the locker room here at halftime, but kicking that field goal gives them a little bit of a jolt, a little bit of a boost of momentum that they can carry with them into the second half. And there's a lot of football left to go here. I can't wait to see what happens. He'll start the return inside his five. And you make the stop, and that is the end of the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, there in the shadows of the Hollywood sign, you've been watching quite a drama of your own. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives a lot. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at the L.A. The Nittany Lions will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. Bringing it back. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. I imagine we'll see them go right back to work up top after how productive that passing game was in the first half. And it's interesting. If I'm the defense and I've got the lead, they've had success throwing the football, but we're winning. I don't know that this defense changes too much of what they've done in the first half. I think they got to do a better job with pass rush. They might want to change their coverages as well because they're probably at this point expecting this offense to have to keep throwing, considering they did have success in the first half. On third down, going up top. Fires to the wide out. Already find a hole in that secondary. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. The Trojans will snap it on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Off play action. He'll take the deep shot. He holds it in and nobody's close. Touchdown USC. They take the lead with the six. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. And the returner goes down. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of their you-know-whats. 
the punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. You blitz me, I'm getting the ball out of my hands. Really good job understanding that by the offensive coordinator, this quarterback, seeing the blitz, getting the ball to a playmaker, letting him do some damage. And more importantly, I don't have to throw it way down the field. Just get the first down. Nowhere to run on now when he loses four on the carry. Here comes the offense on second down. They'll give it to the back. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. They're about to wear this punter out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. At the 35, he's loose. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. The Nittany Lions are in the hurry up. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. And what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. Going to run it. It's Singleton. Defense there to make the stop after a pickup of two to the 30. Coming to the line of scrimmage at the 30. It would be a long field goal, but they'd love to pick up a few here on third and long. Showing the arm strength to the left. And it slips to his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. And it looks as if they're going to try a field goal. He's got it. Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. He'll bring it out. It's Hudson. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. And after that last run, we'll see if they keep it on the ground on third. A quick completion to the left, looking for the first down. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Flips it out to the back. And that will go backwards. A negative play in that defense on high alert that time. Brings up second down. On second down, looking again to throw. Takes the easy completion. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. And the Trojans will send out the punt unit. Great contact on that ball as it just hangs up in the sky. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. Be interesting to see what happens here in the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. As we head to the quarter break, it is USC. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. Looking to throw, it's Aller. Pressure coming. Fired that thing out in a heartbeat, but it's incomplete. They'll try to pick up a few here on third down, but from here, it will be a 60-yard attempt. 
from the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Nice coverage on the back end. Great job. Nothing open right away. The QB holds the ball in the pocket, and the pass rush finally gets home. Sometimes it's the DBs doing great work. Sometimes it's the defensive lineman winning up front. The Nittany Lions yeah. now line up to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. And guys, USC has the ball back and sending the offense onto the field. They'll leave it with him. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Got his man on the outside. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Unloads it left. Wide open downfield. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. The Trojans in the hurry up. And you're seeing the best version of this guy this week, right? We know he threw two picks a week ago. We talked to him. He said he was a game he wanted to put behind him and just get refocused. You are seeing when he brings his A game to the park, he helps this offense be completely dynamic. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Just had a solid pickup on first. Now let's see what they've got on second down. He'll just keep slinging it. Can't find a man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Unloads to the wideout. Rolls it in. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points, and you get the first down. If you don't have many left, you better get aggressive. Wants to throw on second down. Got it in the middle. It's Hudson. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Running back goes in motion. Trying to find his man on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. From the gun, the give, looking for room. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Trojans. Precision blocking up front. Created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes. It just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and the lead is nine here in the fourth. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Fresno State is lighting up the scoreboard right now thanks to a dazzling offensive display. They're up 14 over Washington State. We'll circle back if anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Pocket starts to collapse. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Well, the problem for this offense now late in the game, trailing by a bunch of points, is that the defense knows they're going to throw the football. And right now, offensively, they cannot protect the edge. You saw the speed coming from the outside. He was able to get to the quarterback for another negative play. 
Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Look at the pass, pass. Defense. An ill-advised play by that defender as he makes contact with the quarterback well after the throw, and it'll cost his defense. He finds his man. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. Got it in the middle. It's Singleton. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. And the Nittany Lions want to move quickly. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. Couldn't find anybody to throw to. He'll just toss it away. It'll be second down. Looking to throw. It's Albert. Right down the middle. Makes the grab. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. They'll throw it from the red zone. Had to get rid of it quickly. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. On the ground, it's Wallace. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Already well within field goal range. Wonder how aggressive they'll be on third and long from the 22. From the gun, wants to pass. Let's it fly deep downfield. Right through his hands. He had a touchdown and just didn't look the ball in. It'll be fourth down. It is good. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. This Trojan offense is ready to go back to work. Smart move to keep it on the ground. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The offense will quickly use a timeout. I never know if it's grammatically no, correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run. And the punt team gets down there and gets the return man on the ground. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Second and ten after the previous play. To the air, it's Aller. He's going up top here late in the game. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. He's taking a deep shot. Makes a catch down the right side. He got loose, almost housed it, finally dragged down at the 32. They want to just keep throwing it. That's reeled in. It's Saunders. Stop is made at the 22. A 10-yard pickup and a first down just outside the red zone. He's going to pass. It's complete to the right. 
He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. We've got a timeout on the field, a tight game in the fourth, and the brain trust will go to work. He wants to pass it on second down. Grab near the sticks. It's Saunders. They get it down to the seven on that pass play in prime position for a score. Takes a snap. Wants to throw. Into the end zone. It's caught. A touchdown. And now they're an extra point away from taking the lead. And that drive right there is exactly what you dream about. That's how you want your offense to perform. Under a clutch situation, you take the ball down the field, get the score, and now an extra point away from taking the lead late in this ball game. And the extra point gives him a one-point lead here in the fourth. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. He's got great speed. Just barely able to stop him. He almost housed that baby. The nice return there. That last line of coverage is the only thing that stopped him from scoring. He'll try to do it himself. At the 35, he's open. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Looking to go up top on first down. Got his man to the left. Touchdown, Southern Cal! And they've got the lead in the final minute. Man, this game has been incredible to watch, and the offense comes through late in the game, takes the lead. What a clutch drive by this offense. Now, I'm looking at you, defense. We got the lead late in the game. I need you to go put this thing on ice and win it for me. Just couldn't nudge it across for the two-point conversion. They'd hoped to go up by a touchdown, but they're still up by five here in the fourth. He'll take a knee as a touchback save every second he can as they try to put together this final drive. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Fires left. Complete downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. It's complete! And he'll get out of bounds. Just a first down there in plus territory, and now threatening to get the score. Scanning the field, it's Aller. Just gets rid of the football, nobody to throw it to. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Lost a fire on second down. Nothing doing downfield. He'll cut his losses and throw it away. It'll be third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. All kinds of time in the pocket. Down the middle it goes. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. This offense in scoring position with a fresh set of downs. Sometimes it's just not your day. Things just didn't work, and that seemed to be the case here. Yeah, they, they didn't get the W. They didn't do enough. Uh, but now you start to think about what could I have done differently? What do I need to become more offensively? Defensively, what can I morph into to make those extra plays, Jesse? That might be the difference in the next game that I play. Yeah, David, they just need a little bit more. They need a little bit better effort next week. They're going to need better preparation this week in practice. There's no doubt this team has a lot of talent, but we just need a little bit more to ensure that this doesn't happen next week. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.